Hey, I'm Janir Saif. I am a researcher here in the Department of Chemical Engineering and Biotechnology at the University of Cambridge. What I'm trying to do is deliver biomimetic platforms uh, based on bioelectronics and on organ and achieve technologies uh, in order to assess and understand how cancer cells migrate through the different compartments of the body. Hi, I'm Sarah Barron and I'm a second year PhD student. My research involves creating microelectronics to monitor cells in a healthy and diseased state. Although these electronic devices can be used on many different cell types, my project focuses on lung cells and diseases such as asthma and COPD. Hi, I'm Chiara, I'm a second year PhD student. My research project focuses on the development of a 3D in vitro model of the neurovascular unit. A neurovascular unit is a very complex and multicellular module that we have in our brain. The main role is basically to act as a very selective but also permeable barrier between the bloodstream and the brain tissue. Bioelectronics can have quite a broad definition, ranging from implantable devices to treat diseases in your body, or monitoring things such as your heart or your brain to discover what's wrong. In our lab though, we use these electronic devices and readout systems to monitor things at a cellular level, to better understand how diseases develop and also how we can treat them and detect them more sensitively. My favorite part of my job is to collaborate with researchers from all over the world and from different backgrounds. It's uh, working with nice people and uh, exchange ideas. Every day is different. I also really enjoy that I get the chance to show my creative side. I really enjoy blogging, scientific writing, I like to give talks and also to produce films um, to help communicate science to the public. The thing I like least about my job is that it can be quite frustrating because often experiments don't go right and you need to repeat them a lot. So things like endurance, perseverance and learning that failure is an integral part of success. Qualities that are quite important to develop um, that you aren't necessarily told about before you start. It's uh, the paperwork. I don't really fancy writing as I am a Spanish speaker. Uh, I found like maybe English writing tough for me, uh, but uh, I try to do my best and uh, to deliver a nice communication for the public. I think it's really important to keep a work-life balance, whether it's a hobby or a sport or your social life, because you really need that time to let your mind relax and unwind. I've always been really passionate about sport and I've always kept that going alongside my work, even my A-levels, um, university and now my PhD. It's really important to make some time for those things that you really enjoy. Meaning I really like uh, either reading books or um, watching Netflix. This is a sport called uh, Ultimate Frisbee, we love reading and song painting. But my favourite, my favourite uh, hobby is to cook. I love cooking and I almost get into a master chef in Spain. Try to always motivate yourself with uh, good uh, and positive um, self-esteem mantras because sometimes self-esteem can be affected by uh, the outcome uh, of your research. If you make an effort now, uh, it will pay off in the future and you will become whatever you want to be. My advice would be to take some time to reflect about what you're truly passionate about and try and talk to as many people as you can in the various fields that you're looking into. I would also try and to get some work experience in the job that you want to pursue because then you can really make an informed decision about whether you would actually like the job.